Today, I'm gonna to predict the future with the top six things I think are gonna happen in 2023. Hey, it's Andrew, one of the Brothers of Bargains here from Ride Time, and today I'm gonna to go through my top six predictions of what I think is gonna happen in 2023 in the automotive industry. Thing number one, I believe interest rates are still gonna rise. I do believe that the Bank of Canada is gonna slow down with interest rates. We probably have two more rate hikes in front of us and at 0.25 per rate hike. So right now, the prime rate in Canada is at 6.25%. Currently, as we're sitting here, the best rate available is 7.99 on a fix. So on the non-prime side, historically, rates have been eight to you know 20 plus percent over prime. Even if the Bank of Canada doesn't raise rates, the best non-prime rate that you should be able to get is that 14.25%. Well, right now we're sitting in this month at 12.99, 11.99. So that spread is a lot smaller, which leads me to my next prediction. Prediction number two, by the end of 2023, we're gonna have less non-prime lenders in the automotive space. We've gotten a rush of non-prime lenders in Canada over the last few years. And the biggest reason for that is money was really cheap. So because money was really cheap, there was a lot of people that had money that wanted to earn interest on that money. So we had a lot of private equity that flowed into the non-prime auto space. And for the last two years, guess what? It's actually been pretty easy. You've had record low uh, repossessions. On top of that, if a vehicle ever was repossessed, then they've gotten more money than they thought of. That's allowed them to become a little bit looser with their lending guidelines. That spread that they have, that's their markup. As costs increase, as repossessions uh, come back, their business is not gonna be viable anymore. Prediction number three ties into what's about to happen to the non-prime lenders. We're gonna see falling used car values, but it's not gonna be for everything. So the nearly new segment is gonna drop in value. Inside of that nearly new segment, the biggest one that's gonna drop are base vehicles. Touch on with interest rates. If you have nearly new vehicle, interest rates are high, you're gonna have a high payment. A lot of people are gonna turn around and say, wow, for $800, $900 a month, I'm not getting leather, I'm not getting a heated seat, I'm not getting a sunroof, I don't want it. So they're gonna look at different options that are gonna give them that value for money. Prediction number four is we are gonna see more customers value conscious, right? That's gonna be the big trend into 2023. They really are gonna get value for their money. So that's gonna mean that they're gonna be looking at less expensive vehicles that give them less expensive payments. So that bottom end of the used car market that's still financeable is gonna hold its value very well. So on the top end of the market, we're gonna see values fall. On the bottom end of the market, we're gonna see values hold really strong. Prediction number five, we are gonna be looking at more new car supply. There's gonna be more and more new cars that are showing up on dealers' lots and not selling immediately. So because they're not selling immediately, the manufacturers are gonna turn around and they're gonna offer incentives. Those incentives are automatically gonna devalue those nearly new vehicles. So all of these things kind of tie into each other, but the prediction number five is you're gonna have the availability, if you want a new car, to go to the dealer and buy a new car. Prediction number six, everything tied all in together, it will be harder to get a loan in 2023 than it was in 2022. So we're gonna see a tightening of the credit market. If there's less non-prime lenders in this space, there's fewer competition. They don't have to stretch as much to, to get their piece of the pie. So you're gonna have less of those non-prime banks competing with each other to get some of those deals. Because interest rates are up, they have to be pickier with who they lend their money to because it's costing them more money to do it. And there are lots of predictions that we're heading into a recession. Inside of recessionary times, credit markets do tighten up. With all of that being said, if you have any questions about any Anything we talked about, give us a call. All of our team is here to help. My name's Andrew, one of the Brothers of Bargains from Ride Time, and at Ride Time, we have your ticket to ride.